Hello friends, my name is Maheshwar. We are going to see Okta integration with Oracle Identity Cloud Service now. And last couple of months back, I blogged about Oracle EBS integration with IDCS with the help of EBS Assetter. So on top of this, I'm going to add Okta as my identity provider. And if you're an Oracle Applications DBA and wanted to see EBS integration also, then I suggest you to follow my blog and complete the whole setup. But Okta and Oracle Identity Cloud Service integration steps are pretty much generic. So, okay. So I'm going to open one white paper link, which discusses setting up federation between Microsoft Active Directory and Identity Cloud Service. So here the difference of what I'm doing is I'm going to replace Microsoft Azure Active Directory with Okta and Okta as access identity provider here and IDC as access service provider here. So if you are new to Okta, it is pretty much like Microsoft Azure Active Directory. Okta is enterprise and identity management solution built for the cloud, but works for many on-prem applications also. So, so don't confuse with Azure and OCI here. So I deployed my EBS application tire plus database and EBS Assetter in OCI and integrated with IDCS. So I have already this setup in place and let me access my EBS application and show you this setup, right? So, okay. I'm going to access my EBS URL. So this is my EBS URL and it will redirect to IDCS and in IDCS page, so here in IDCS page, and you will enter the username and credentials which is which is there in IDCS. So your identity is in IDCS now and in this setup in this setup excluding Okta show your identity is in Oracle Identity Cloud Service, right? So here in my setup, in my current setup, Oracle IDCS is acting as identity provider, right? So your identity is coming from IDCS. So if I integrate my IDCS with Okta using SAML protocol, then you will see icon here, Okta icon. And if you click on this Okta icon under, under sign in button, you will see this icon. And if you click on Okta, it will be, it will be, it will be redirected to Okta page. And then there you will enter your SSO credentials and then uh, the corresponding applications you'll, you'll get logged into. Right. So let me enter my credentials here. So you see, uh, I logged into my EBS application. So you can integrate IDCS with many applications, uh, Java cloud service, SOVA, uh, OIC, but I integrated uh, uh, integrated EBS with IDCS, right? So by setting up federation between Okta and Oracle IDCS, we enable user access to applications in IDCS using credentials that are authenticated by Okta. So that means as an employee, I have SSO credentials. As you know, I, IDCS, we do have SOVA CS, Java CS, OIC. So if I want all these applications to be authenticated by my SSO credentials, that is Okta, then I can do if Okta is integrated to IDCS. So this integration is based on, again, a SAML protocol. So prerequisites to complete this setup is, so you need to have an IDCS instance. I already have this complete setup, uh, EBS setup and IDCS setup. IDCS is currently integrated with IEBS and you can integrate IDCS with many other applications called Java CS, IOSC and etc. So, and uh, I need to have an Okta instance. So instead of Azure Active Directory, I'm using Okta. So if you have your own domain in GoDaddy, and you can create uh, one, o, one Okta account and Okta provides 30 day free trial. So I have created my uh, Okta account and my, uh, in my blog, I, I have my own domain called omcs.tech. So this is my domain. 
so if you have your own domain and then you can uh, you can get okta account uh, in godaddy so i used my godaddy account and uh, i got my professional email id and using that professional email id i created my okta free account so you can do that uh, so uh, I'm in Okta console now and uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a SAML I'm going to do I'm going to create a SAML application so okay so before we uh, do this setup so let's discuss about high level steps so high level steps basically we do have three uh, three high level steps so uh, let me open this uh, this is uh, Oracle documentation so the high level steps are basically first step is configure Okta as IDP. So in order to configure Okta as IDP, you need to create SAML application in Okta. Okay. And then the second high level step is you need to add Okta identity provider in Oracle identity cloud service. So if you add Okta identity provider in Oracle identity cloud service, that means Oracle identity cloud service acts as a service provider. And the third step is basically, it's simple, assigning Okta IDP to an IDP policy. So we are going to do, do this in IDCS console. So the first step is configure Okta as IDP. So let's go to Okta console and let me create a application. Let me go to my apps and then let me go to admin. And then here will see add app, click on add app, create new app. So I'm going to select SAML. So since this is a SAML application, I'm, I'll have to select SAML. Create application name, I'll give something Oracle Identity Cloud Service. You can give any name. And if you want to add app logo, you, you can add here and I'm going to click on next and then single sign on URL and audience URI it is asking and default relay, relay state is optional and name ID format application username and update application username on. Right. So we are going to enter all these values and how to get this single sign on URL. So uh, in this documentation, Oracle documentation, so here there is a string uh, dot well known IDCS configuration. If you uh, if you append this suffix to Oracle identity your Oracle identity cloud service, this is your Oracle identity cloud service URL. And I just added this dot well known slash IDCS configuration, and and then if you click enter, and you're going to get a JSON page. So 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 here. I'm going to uh, I'm going to get this parameter value. This parameter value is this one. So I'm going to paste it here. Yeah. So this is pasted. Now I need to get the audience URI. Audience URI is basically and basically. So if you enter this URL metadata here, you'll see something like this. So this entity ID is nothing but audience URI. So I'm going to copy and paste it here. Okay. So relay, relay state is nothing but your assetter URL. So I'm going to take assetter URL to my blog. So this is my assetter URL. So name ID format, I'll keep it as email address and this is an email and create update, I'll leave as default and then click next and I'm going to select, I'm an Okta customer adding an internal app and I'll leave all defaults and then I click finish. So now I created a SAML application and then you'll see something general sign on import assignments. So in sign on tab. I'll, I'll see something called identity provider metadata. If I click on identity provider metadata, I'm going to see XML file and I'm going to save this XML file as my metadata.xml. Save. 
and I'll have to assign this application to uh, Okta user, right? So I have uh, Okta user. So this is my, I'm going to add Oracle Identity Cloud Service SAML application to myself and I will click on assign, save and go back, done. Okay, so now, so now what I have done is I created a SAML application and I have given Oracle Identity Cloud Service URLs and have downloaded metadata XML file and then I have assigned this SAML application to my user. So now, now the second step is now the second step is adding identity provider Okta in IDCS console. So here I have identity uh, IDCS admin console open and I'm going to do security and identity provider and then you'll see add SAML IDP and click on add SAML IDP and then you give Okta IDP Okta ADP and then click next and then I'm going to select this metadata XML and then click next name ID name ID I'll leave it as name ID itself and then Oracle Identity Cloud Service user attribute is primary email address and then I'm going to select email address here and then click next and then if you want to download you can download and then I'll click on next Okay, so I'm then I'm click on finish. Okay, so you can test this application and by clicking on the test. So you are getting an error because my this is my Okta user. So in real world, how it is, your Okta uh, users will your user profile will will be replicated to IDCS. So your user profile should be there, not a password but user profile should be there in IDCS. So I do not have any uh, any user at this moment in uh, IDCS. So I'm going to add uh, a user here. So this is my Okta user. So I'm going to create a user profile in uh, IDCS as well. So each my tech and then click finish. So I have added my user here now. Okay. So once again, I'll go to security identity providers and then I'll test the login now. Now we'll see your connection is successful. So basically the SAML, this is a SAML requirement. At least one user should be there uh, in order to test your IDP, uh, IDP right? So I have added one user and after adding one user and it is getting successful. Now I will activate this, activate. So now it is active. So now the third step is in IDCS console, you'll have something called IDP policies. So uh, I do not have any uh, custom policies. I have a default identity provider policy. I click on that. And if you see something called identity provider and uh, okay, so uh, okay, yeah, so I'll, I'll have to select Okta IDP and uh, click on okay. So now, now I have Okta IDP in uh, identity provider policy. So now with this steps, our federation between Okta and IDCS is complete now. So now we will see uh, how the application will act. I'll log out here. See here, earlier you are not seeing this Okta IDP and now you have Okta IDP here, right? So if I click on Okta IDP, it will take me to Okta URL. So I have Okta user. Uh, I have Okta user, and I have already added a profile in IDCS console. But uh, looks like I haven't added any application. So let me add application here also. EBS sector assign. Okay. So yeah. So I have Okta user. Uh, that is 
that is uh, that is reach uh, that is this one reach maheshwar at the rate omcs.tech and i created my user profile in idcs as well and then uh, to this email id and i need to have this uh, username uh, in uh, ebs as well right so i'm going to open uh, I'm going to open okay so here I'm going to add my email address to sysadmin so I have already sysadmin user already and instead of creating a separate user with just simplicity I'm just updating my email address to sysadmin user so let me update and then commit so if you see something if you go here and then if you see bridge.properties my user identity uh, EBS user identifier is email so it won't look for username it will look for email id as as a identifier as a user identifier here you can give username as well but in my setup in bridge.properties i have given email so i have updated my this email address which is there in okta and to this user so my my okta uh, my okta uh, user have user has uh, sysadmin privileges now so let me go to uh, browser and see okay let me start from the first i'll take uh, private browser http colon ebs it has redirected to idcs now and then i'll click on okta idp and then you see so i'm entering my okta credentials here second okay so you logged into ebs now right so so uh, this is these are all sysadmin responsibilities so since i assigned my since i assigned my email address uh, to sysadmin and i'm I, I'm, 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 I'm having all sysadmin responsibilities now. So this completes uh, a setup, uh, SAML integration setup between Oracle IDCS and uh, Okta. So if you want to, uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to do this setup and uh, if with a Microsoft a Active Directory, then you can follow this white paper. But uh, the setup is pretty much same and uh, uh, here also we are going to add a saml application and uh, like in okta and uh, you see uh, this is a saml application and the identity id reply url logout url everything we added the setup is going to be the same the, so the same steps we are going to do uh, but uh, this is azure active directory so we can also uh, do complete this setup but uh, uh, I just studied it with uh, Okta. So if you see this uh, authentication flow, uh, here I have Azure AD integrated with IDCS, but now uh, uh, I, I have Okta integrated with IDCS. So here you see uh, your EBS application is completely unaware of uh, Azure AD, right? So your Azure AD is only integrated with IDCS and your IDCS in turn uh, uh, in turn, it is integrated with EBS and can be integrated with many other applications, right? So now uh, here you see, if you carefully see uh, request flow, uh, it is nowhere integrated directly to any application, right? So it is only integrated with IDCS. Okay, guys. So uh, this completes uh, setup between Okta and Oracle Identity Cloud Service. Thanks. Happy learning.